actually, can I switch you spots? Yep. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> day and a lot of emotions. Talk about how it feels to have had a chance to air your feelings in the courtroom in front of, in front of Mr. Norton. Well, we uh, appreciate the opportunity to have um, had a, a chance to speak on behalf of Joshua. Joshua was a, a fine young man, a good friend, a wonderful son, a, a terrific brother and a grandson. And so Having had that opportunity to describe him to people was something that we had um, had wanted to do for some time, and uh, we certainly appreciate the res the respect that we receive from the individuals within the court. We also very much appreciate the police officers and the work that they have done, as well as Jen Moser and Victims Witness Assistance Program. So we've been very very fortunate in that assistance. You and your children talked about the difficulty your son's death has caused. You mentioned you suffer from panic attacks. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, you know, it's obviously very difficult for us to talk about, but just thinking about the uh, circumstances under which he um, unfortunately passed away and then was left um, following the accident has um, left all of us in a situation where we're not able to deal with things as well as we might like to otherwise. Pam, did you know what the defense's submission was going to be? ahead of this? We had a, a sense, Jen has been really wonderful in keeping the family included in all of the conversations as it relates to what she was going to recommend today, so we were familiar with what it is that she was going to be asking for, yes. And how do you feel about that? A large fine and, and uh, hours of community service? I don't really want to talk about the sentence at this point because we're still in that pre-sentence environment, so I would prefer not to comment with regard to the sentence and what might have happened. Uh, from that perspective. Well, what would you like people to know about Josh after today? What, what do you want them to know? Josh was um, on his gravestone is uh, the best description of our son and that is that he lived simply and he loved deeply and that's something that we uh, continue to try to uh, exemplify as a family in terms of how we work uh, together and interact with one another. He was a wonderful young man to his sword, to his fraternity and uh, his u other university friends and all of the people in our family. So we're very blessed to have had him, but unfortunately for too short a time. And there's a bit of a, a wait until we have another, another day set for the final decision. Uh, how does that sit with you? Well, it's unfortunate that um, uh, justice is slow, but at the end we hope to get a positive result. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.